Hello everyone. This is Lawrence Lucas. This is a shot of inside my vinyl room. And on the wall there, you can see releases from newer artists that I have displayed on the wall. Um, we have Valerie June, Brittany Howard, the group Temples, Vampire Weekend, Beck, um, First Aid Kit, Rihanna Giddens, and uh, a younger artist whose name I can't pronounce, but she signed the album for me. I also have a Valerie album signed. I actually, I have two her, of her albums that are signed. That's uh, one of them. And the first aid kit. Um, I want to discuss why I believe newer vinyl uh, uh, is actually a good value. Okay, so we'll go back do a final shot, and I'll put the camera on the uh, um, tripod and um, discuss that with you. And uh, this is my vinyl room right here. Got all kinds of records. And when I mount the camera, you're going to see CDs behind me. Uh, I believe in doing both. So, I'm just a one-man operation, so I'm putting the camera the, on the uh, pod right now. Uh, hello, can you see me? Okay, so, any new music... I want to buy or occasional reissue I will buy it on vinyl um, starting about 10 years ago you know a vinyl, a vinyl um, revival started happening probably before that and um, while I also do thrift store vinyl I made many videos on that you know go hit the thrift stores and find some real cool um, music, a very eclectic types. Um, I also got into uh, new music on 180 gram or, or lesser gram, just the new generation of vinyl. Okay, and today you could go to independent record stores or the big chains like Barnes and Nobles, uh, Target, and, and they carry uh, vinyl. Uh, I've heard people say, well, new vinyl, isn't that terribly expensive? Well, not in today's money, because I have a conversion chart on the computer here, and I recently got, I would take these two down, new albums by, by Temples. If you ever heard of them, I, uh, that's great. If you haven't, look them up, man. They're great. This is their new album, Hot Wax. I mean, Hot Motion. Hot Motion. And Brittany Howard, who's in Alabama Shakes, I think they're on hiatus right now. She just put out a solo album, and this is fantastic as well. Uh, I love it. So, new music like that. I'll get on um, on vinyl uh, instead of trying to find the CD, which is getting harder and harder. You know, um, the department stores are, are they're not they really cut back on their their space for um, um, CDs. It's really kind of fading out. Um, anyway, those two albums they were twenty four. 50 each. You might say, oh, isn't that expensive? You know, you could get the CD for like $12.99 up to $16.99. Well, actually, the albums are a good value because I'm looking up the conversion chart. Back in 1978, new albums, when they came out, they were $7.99, and a lot of the retails would discount them a buck $6.99. And uh, so, six ninety nine in today's money is twenty eight dollars and twenty eight cents. I got these two albums for twenty four dollars and something cents. So about a, a four dollar, almost a four dollar difference. 
also, as the case with the Temples album, got a real... The, the album cover itself is really nice. It's very glossy. It's a gatefold. You open it, another picture of the band. Uh, also, it comes with a poster, a lyric sheet, that the uh, pocket for the album itself, and a, a vinyl that um, um, is like a marble, really cool coloring. Uh, so you get all that, and plus a download card. Um, the same type of packaging with Britney, but there, there's no poster in it, okay? But it, a download card. And you get the pleasure of uh, holding the album, and, and it, it's uh, uh, having something that's um, um, uh, a product that's actually there instead of just having it on the computer. Um, I got the all the download cards here. These are per, pretty generic, but uh, with Casey Musgraves, her download card it comes with the artwork of, of the uh, uh, um, of the album cover. Um, this rack right here is where I keep all of my new vinyl. It's a combination, mostly new artists, and then some reissues. Okay, like I got plenty of Beatles and. The Beatles here, the uh, the Past Master, the um, a newer McCartney album. So you know I have some of the um, the classic stuff, or in the case of McCartney, a, a veteran with newer work. Um, David Bowie, the next day. But I also have some newer artists. This is an artist who I discovered. I'm not going to say her name, but I'll just hold it up. Uh, she was featured on uh, NPR First Listen. And I really like what I heard from it, because uh, on that site, you could, they'll spotlight albums prior, just weeks prior to their release where you can listen to it in full. And I really like this album a lot. Really cool album cover. Uh, so... Any newer artists, I will buy their work on on vinyl. Let's see what else we got. Here's here's one from a newer artist. Let's just pull it out. Uh, Yola, she was another uh, feature. This album came out earlier this year. It's absolutely magnificent. The guy from so the Black Keys, Dan, I can't pronounce his last name, produced it and is credited for co-writing many of the songs. Uh, Yola Carter, her name, she's got this incredible voice. Um, just absolutely worth checking out. And then I got, you know, people like Lucinda Williams. Cool. So, looking at the conversion, $7.99, if you paid um, before the dollar discount, it was $32 and something. Uh, $6.99 is $28 and something. I got the, the Britney and Temple um, albums for $24 each, along with the... Uh, the cool album artwork, lyric sheet, uh, the album that casts a really funky die, download cards, and in case with temples, a, a really cool poster. So you get in the package, you know, you get in the package. And you could scout around and find the CDs for 13 something, but for more, uh, you get all that. Uh, download card you put on your computer um, and then transfer it to your device or uh, rip a CD. You could listen to it in the car or, um, you know, if you're outside in the garage, you have a, a little system in there. You can listen to it in there. So, you know, it's portable too. Um, also, you know, we're in the age where music is basically free. A new artist comes out, a new release, you can listen to it free on Spotify. Um, I only use Spotify to um, 
find music I want to buy. It's sort of to me like the the old days of radio uh, that you listen to radio and you know new bands or artists. And, oh, I really like this one. I, I think I'll buy the album, and um, so that's what I use it for. And you, you know, I think it's very important to per to uh, support an artist through a purchase of their work instead of just listening to it free um, because it, it just says your work is valuable enough where I work for about an hour or two whatever time it takes to make the uh, um, money it costs by the album that your, your work is valuable enough that I take about an hour or two of my life to earn that money to buy your work you know it, that's the way it used to work um, and, and some artists really don't care. They like to tour. and um, But to me, buying their work on vinyl, it, it it's, uh, shows support. It's also my vote in the industry, what I consider good. So I got all my collection, 180 gram. I got more on the wall here. And one day I'll do a, a complete tour of the vinyl robe. Uh, one thing I do is I keep these separate. I don't mix them in with the uh, the old vinyl. I keep them separate, and I've got these really nice uh, 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 shelving units here for them. And when I put them in, I don't uh, squish them in. You know, I give them every album enough breathing room so that these really nice spines don't get crushed and every every album is in a plastic sleeve um, that way I keep them like almost new and w w when I die and, and my wife has to sell them um, if I go first because um, she's not into the music as I am um, she can pass them off and sell them at a, a decent price we won't charge in our, what we paid for them uh, somebody will get a good value and somebody else will enjoy them. So, um, again, because of the, the conversion, you, you get the album cover, the, the album itself, download card, which is transferred to the computer, any additional posters, artwork. And most of all, you could do what I did was, uh, you know, find some album frames and display these in the vinyl room. Um, so buying new work by an artist you really like on vinyl is a good value. Now, some people will say, well, your audiophile people, you know, will say, well, the transfer to vinyl is crap and blah, blah, blah. That's another issue, okay, which I won't get into because I'm not an audio person. I've always been happy with all my uh, 180 gram or new vinyl purchases. Every once in a while I get a little uh, vinyl that's a little bit noisier and they're, they're not quite, they're a lot cleaner sound, sounding uh, than vinyl of the old days. Uh, I mean, rock records in the old days, um, you heard a lot of noise, especially in the quiet, quieter passages, but um, record companies um, did not take as much care into making the vinyl sound good for rock records as they did for classical recordings, because classical recordings... Um, the consumer of classical recordings, their, their demands were much higher. And there's a lot of quiet passages in classical music. You can't have a lot of clicks and pops and noise. So the mastering and the pure vinyl um, was a factor in making them sound really good. You go to the thrift stores now and find classical recordings, uh, um, you know, old ones. Usually the the vinyls are in really, really good condition uh, because classical fans took really good care of their albums where, you know, rock fans at a party just throw it on, you know, and um, not as much care. But I, I'm taking really good care of my vinyl here. So I, I wanted to make this video just to make the point that um, um, new vinyl is, is really a good value. Now, 
It does get pricey for for reissue of classic albums, uh, rock albums. You know, your Led Zeppelin and and all of that. Um, if there's um, another disc involved, you know, the bells and whistles. If there's another disc of uh, of uh, uh, outtakes, unreleased stuff, B sides, what have you. Okay. Uh, with, with booklet, extended artwork, you know, the bells and whistles. Uh, that can be pricey up to hundreds of dollars. Okay, um, I'm going to um, end this video. Uh, please leave any comments you like. Uh, and I, I sure enjoy uh, hearing from you. Um, I want to wish everyone a nice fall day. You take care. Bye.